So a lot of y'all have been asking me how I rebuilt my motorcycle in my dining. Oh my god, the sun is so beautiful. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful day. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of y'all have been asking me um, how I rebuilt my FZ07 inside of my dining room. So basically, it all started off as I got into my accident, um, which sucked, obviously. and. There was a good month or two of me just sitting inside the house with AC, trying to, you know, get, you know, recover, get my skin back to normal. I didn't even break any bones, luckily, so I didn't stay in the hospital. I just went there for one day and came home. Once I like washed my back and cleaned all the asphalt out and everything. And once, I, once I like not fully recovered, but like recovered to a certain degree where I can actually like walk and move and stuff and do whatever. God, <laughs> I miss that so much. Anyways, so it's good to be back. So um, once I was like 50% healed and where I could like move and walk and, and do everything else, then I was like, hey mom, hey dad, like, can I re, like, can I fix my motorcycle? And like, yeah, sure, go ahead. So I took it to the Yamaha dealership and um, I got a quote from them to see what parts were actually messed up because like I'm not a technician so like I, I can't fix it myself take it there maybe they can fix that and then once I got there they were like uh, it's gonna be about seven thousand eight hundred dollars to fix I don't know about you but I have bought my motorcycle for seven thousand eight hundred dollars I'm not about to pay another like no hell no I was like just give me the repair order and the list of all the parts I need and I, I, I'll go do it myself screw that I'm not paying that much to rebuild my motorcycle so after I think about like two or three weeks of the motorcycle just sitting in the garage I was like I, I want to rebuild it myself like I believe I can do it so I was like you know what I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I was like I think I got it so the main parts I needed to rebuild it to make it back like on this road was two new front forks, a right foot peg, and yeah, that's really it. And a little pl plastic piece in the back, because the whole back got messed up. To so hold up, let me get some gas. It's so hot. Why is it so hot? Are you a Coca-Cola Plus customer? Yes. Damn it! I spilled a drop. Shit. <laughs> mm. No. That's whatever. Receipt? No. All right. There goes five dollars. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love the way it sounds. So anyways, um, once I paid the $800 to rebuild my, or once I paid the $760, like I got all the parts and it was time to rebuild the motorcycle. And I had two options, either rebuild it in a garage or my suggestion was the dining room because I couldn't be in the heat. So I wasn't about to sit in the garage and rebuild my motorcycle and sweat my ass off because I really couldn't because of my back. So. I was like, hey mom, hey dad, is there a possibility I can rebuild my uh, motorcycle in uh, the dining room? And honestly, like, I was surprised about their answer. They straight up just said yes. No begging, no arguing. They just straight up said yes. They were like, yeah, sure, go ahead. I was like, what? <laughs> like, y'all are okay with this? Like, seriously? And they're like, yeah, go ahead. So, then if y'all want to see how I rebuilt it, um, go watch my rebuild series. Besides all of that, it took me a little over a month, not, not even a little month, like almost a month to rebuild everything, like the whole motorcycle. It took a lot of trial and error because I'm not a technician, so I kind of just sat in my dining room, watched YouTube videos, and prayed it, it got fixed and whatnot. So. God. <laughs> uh, I love it.
love that song so much. I, this is probably the last time I can go that fast in a while. So you know how I said in my last video I'm only going to be in the neighborhood? I was only going to be in the neighborhood, but I didn't just like, realize that I have to go fill up gas. So like the one time out of the year that I have to go fill up gas, it will be this time. I actually had to go to O'Reilly a bunch of times, get like buy tools, buy a torque wrench, buy all this extra stuff that I didn't have, and I I I put it together like for not being a tech. I literally have zero. Like I've never worked on a motorcycle ever, and I just like kind of rebuilt the whole thing. So uh, the reason I'm making this video because I want to make another video later on relating why you shouldn't work on your bike yourself. I mean, to to an extent, to an extent. For me, the reason I was okay with rebuilding it is. It wasn't like serious like engine problems. Like, I, have, I have no idea how to fix an engine, but the one thing I, I could fix was the forks because it's got a couple screws and the foot peg or just a couple more screws and like wires and stuff and like the plastic pieces like there was no main like huge problems. Hey, they're having a bouncy house. Hey. <laughs> Oh, the whole family, so sweet. I don't know how to fix the handlebars, so I'm just gonna take it to a dealership when I get a chance and let them fix that. Instead of spending $7,800 to rebuild my motorcycle, I only spent um, $700, almost $800, and I saved roughly $7,000 rebuilding it myself. And even though it's not fully like, good and whatnot but i just wanted to say that you can save so much money by not going to a dealership like honestly i think a dealership is only good for buying the motorcycle besides that personally i think the dealership has no like benefit at all like it, it's just me though sorry if you work out one i'm not trying to hate on you but that's just me i don't like dealerships because i feel like it is like rip you off to the max but some things, obviously, you have to take to a dealership because of my handlebars and I don't want to deal with the whole steering and everything. In the process of rebuilding my motorcycle, I actually ran into some problems. I bought a front stand off eBay and it was a really good front stand. Like, it wasn't bad at all. The only thing is, I had put it onto like a, a, a carpet. I, I put it on that and the carpet actually rolled up and made the front stand slip out while I was putting on the new fork. Without a wheel being on, the front stand slipped out and the bike fell on the two forks. So like, I'll put a picture right here so you can see it. Literally the engine was inches away from like hitting the ground. Like I was so lucky. So then I was like, man, what should I do? How do I get it on the stand again without it slipping off? So, and I couldn't move the bike because there was no front wheel and I couldn't put it on without the stand. So I was like, well shit, what do I do? I was like, you know what? last last resort i went and bought an engine lift <laughs> i went to autozone i bought an engine lift for like almost it was like 300 bucks i think i bought a full like 6,000 pound engine lift and lifted up the whole motorcycle like <laughs> i tied some rope and just lifted up the whole thing and like then i just from there i worked on and put on the wheel and actually i put on the wheel backwards i didn't put it on the right way because like i said before not a technician i made a mistake that is basically how I rebuilt my motorcycle in my dining room. Whenever you're like in a neighborhood, you can only motor vlog to an extent because it gets kind of boring, you know? So if you have any questions or comments or concerns or just any kind of ideas in general, comment down below, don't be afraid. I'm gonna be talking a lot because I'm gonna be in the neighborhood and I have nothing better to do. So it is hot as crap in Houston. And if you don't live in Houston, you live somewhere up north, you're some lucky son of a because it's hot as fuck down here. I'm sweating so much right now. It's so bad. But anyways, so if you like these type of motor vlogs that I'm doing in the neighborhood, even though it's kind of boring, if you like him, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. If not, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Like, I don't really care. Like, if you don't like these, like, like neighborhood motor vlogs, go ahead, give me a thumbs down. Let me know. Comment down below. Like, actually give me feedback because I really appreciate all the support I got whenever I did the rebuild series. Like, it was incredible. I got so much support from that. So, again, thank y'all so, so much for all the support y'all gave me. I really appreciate that. Oh, my God. It's so hot. Okay, yeah. I, I, I think I'm done for today, bro. I've been out for, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And it is way too freaking hot. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Don't look at the gate code or garage code. All right, it's open now. Haha. Ha. Anyways, I'm taking all this shit off because it's way too hot. It is so 
freaking hot. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.